So in this video, I want to show you guys a new feature in Adobe Premiere that has significantly saved me time and sped up my editing. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Premiere, and this is a project I've already nested a multicam sequence. I've not done this in a uh, multicam sequence, so I assume it's, I assume it's still going to work, but we'll find out here. All right, so in the workspaces, you're going to go down to text based editing. It said new here in the tab. I actually don't know how new this is. This is just something I started using the other day. After you click that, it'll come to this little transcript page and you'll actually hit transcribe. It will transcribe the whole sequence, which I've already done here. So what's cool about this is it'll show everything that is said in the video. So what's really neat is that it will show you your pauses in here as well. You'll see the dot, dot, dot here. Those are all places where there was pauses or gaps in the speaking. So something like a YouTube video where you want to cut that all out, or maybe there's long pauses between your takes. You can see that here and go ahead and delete that real quick. Also, What's great about this too, is there is a search feature. I have not tried that yet. Maybe I'll give that a try here in just a second. So there's a quote you're looking for, especially like an interview. Maybe one of the producers on set took note, or maybe you're by yourself and you took note of something that somebody said and you want to quote that or look that up later. So you can go into here and be able to search that yourself and find that exact quote. So what I like about this too, that I, the way I've been using it is mainly for YouTube content is where I'm sitting here talking to the camera and I'm, Usually I'm doing multiple takes after restart saying something or I didn't say it the right way the first time. So there's multiple times that I said something. Well, sometimes anybody that's edited themselves on video probably can relate to this. You'll edit it down and you realize that that wasn't the take you told yourself in the edit that you wanted or something like that. So this is a lot easier way to go through. And if you see repeats or you know the paragraphs that you said, you can go through and find the paragraph that you liked and then delete everything before that. You just highlight and delete. And what's really cool about how this works, the whole point of this is that it's text-based editing. So anything you see here and delete, so if I click this line here, when it says when, the timeline jumped over to that exact point. If I wanna go down to this quote here, and I click here, it jumps over straight to here. So what's really cool about this too is if I hit play, it will play along with this and highlight the words as he says it. You can hear that it actually uh, got the interviewer in this one asking the question. Sometimes that happens here. It can usually, where it says unknown, before you set this up, I'm not sure how to do that quite yet, but you can somehow, but you can divide it up where it knows who is speaking. Sometimes it'll figure out that there's two speakers and you can set the names. But here, sometimes it's not 100% accurate. It'll see that that is somebody behind the camera saying something and it thinks it's still the same speaker. But that is us asking him the question. So let's say I wanna take the part out of the interviewer asking the question. So I'll go ahead and delete this all the way up to the gap. Now here's what's really cool. All I do is hit delete. And did you see that down here in the timeline? I'll undo and do that again. So that's highlighted there on the screen here. When I hit delete, it will actually cut the in and out points here. It's already putting just by hitting delete. Now. You can see here how that's going to be a time saver, how much faster that is to edit down something, how much faster it is to reference what it is they're saying, or how much faster it is, let's say I don't like this gap here. So let's see, let's go up here. Um, I'm gonna undo that here because this is an actual project I need to finish. So let's go up, um, let's do one of these first signs, or first sentences here, uh, where there's a lot of gaps, here we go. So see how he says, We'll click here, it jumps right to it. It's so awesome. Okay. Okay, that is us asking the question there. So that can go. It's gone. So there's a pause. Let's get rid of that pause. Delete. Uh, yep, there we go. And if you are using this yourself, something I noticed right away, um, when I was hitting back, it wasn't working, it wasn't deleting. And you actually have to go up here this little um, automatic set in and out points. If that is off, I don't believe that. I believe the deletes won't work because nothing's actually highlighted in there. Yeah, I was trying to figure that out for a while. So make sure you have that, the in and out points up here checked on for this to actually work when you're deleting. And same with these gaps. Sometimes you can go through and just, oh, delete, delete. You know, you want to delete all these pauses, delete, and there you go. And it's going to go ahead and start doing that. Sometimes it'll split them too. If it deletes, uh, if you delete a pause, and it kind of leaves a gap in the uh, speaking there. So let's start here, see how this looks. That's us asking a question. So like, boom, I don't need that. Gone. Um, 
Okay, there we go. Done. So, so we can go. Yeah, and you can see I have a multicam sequence here. I haven't started doing a multicam edit yet. Usually I nest them here and I'll cut it down and then I'll go through and pick my shots first or pick my shots second after I find the selected lines that I like to begin with. So there's no point in going through and cutting back and forth when there may be huge segments of this edit that just go. So yeah, that's really the biggest part of this text-based editor that I've been using it for so far, but you can search stuff in here, but I haven't found out how to, oh, I think you just search right here. So there's a line, let's go find a line. So he says, our building needed to be updated. So let's just hypothetically say I'm down here. I'm looking for that line. Let's go, our building needed to, there it is, it's finding it right there. Our building needed to be updated. Found that line, boom. Once I highlight it, it takes me right exactly where we were in the edit when he says that. I don't know why I just knocked down. But yeah, okay. So you can see how awesome and powerful this is. I have used a text-based editor in Riverside, and that was actually something I was using for a while here for like mainly on YouTube content, not client content, because there's the upload and download compression there. But having this built into Premiere is pretty killer and i'm going to be using this a lot in my workflow moving forward so i hope this helped you guys and if you have not tried this yet go ahead and give it a try it's something i had heard about and thought i'm going to give it a try and see how well it works it does work really well for cutting sometimes it will mishear some things but i don't think it's that big of a deal if you're just cutting down something so if it's just something you just need to use to cut down now if you're actually going to send off this transcript yeah you might want to go through and change some of that but for the most part it works very well and very quick especially when you're just needing to uh, find things and search things. And I found it to be super useful again for things like YouTube or some where there's more scripted. This was more of a testimonial. It is a little more organic, but some it's scripted and there's retakes of lines. This is so helpful to have. So yeah. So let me know if you guys are using the text-based editing in Adobe Premiere and if it's been helpful to you. That's all I got for this one. I'll see y'all in the next one.